welcome back to Married Life Monday. It is my favorite day of the week, guys, and we are here. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today, guys. We got a good topic today. We got a necessary topic today. I know I say that every week, but I think it's all necessary when we out here saving our marriages. Now, before I get started, I want you to go ahead and show your love by pressing that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already because it's totally free. Now, if you're watching me on Facebook, I'm going to need for you to press that share button, okay? Share, share, share with everybody, okay? <laughs> share with everybody. Now, Y'all know I don't waste no time on Mary Life Monday. I like to get right into the topic, and that's what we're about to do. Now, this topic is very relative to a lot of relationships. And so I want to be very careful how I respond to it. Um, I want y'all to drop down in the comments and respond to it. Um, but be, be mindful of both sides because it can definitely, um, I don't know. It's very, it's a very sensitive topic when it comes to marriage and relationships. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. This is from Kimberly from Marietta, Georgia. Okay. All right. So let's help Kimberly out the best way we can, okay? Well, that's all we can do. Oh, yeah, disclaimer. I'm not a marriage counselor, nor am I a licensed professional. Just a wife with a little bit of experience and want to share with you guys, okay? So take the advice or don't take the advice. I just hope you find it entertaining, okay? All right, anyway, so let's get started with the topic, all right? It reads, hey, sis, we have a lot to talk about, but I will try to keep this short but as detailed as possible. My fiance cries at the thought of losing me. He says that I am his dream and we are supposed to get married in May of 2020. His mom has been very nice up until we got engaged. Now she acts as if she hates me and my fiance just lets her disrespect me, call me names and embarrass me in front of other family and friends. I spoke to him about it, but all he has been saying for the past four months is, I will talk to her. Oh, I will talk to her. But he hasn't because she teams up with his sister and comes to my house just to humiliate me. They criticize my home, tell me all my wedding plans are whack. And she also told me she hopes we don't have kids because there is no way this marriage is going to work. I love him so much, but I am over his family and the bullying. He keeps telling me to just ignore her, but that's not easy to do when he keeps acting like he's afraid to check her. Help me sort this out. All right. Y'all know, for those of you who have been watching me for a while, I do not, I will not, and I cannot <laughs> do the whole mama's boy situation, okay? Because at some point you have to be an adult. And when you get to that point where you feel like, you know, you don't want to grow up, you don't never want to leave the nest or whatever, then you need to make up your mind that you're not going to pull somebody else into you and your mama's mess, okay? Because that's a team effort. But here's the thing. She says he cries at the thought of losing her. Let him cry, okay? Let him cry because... If he loves you as much as he say he do, he's not going to keep putting you in the situation to be embarrassed and to be humiliated and to be bullied by his mother. And his mama, Lord Jesus, that lady need to grow up. Okay? Um, I don't think some parents respect their children enough to allow them to pick certain partners um you got to let them have their own preference um you have to let them make their own mistakes because okay if his mother thinks that he's making a, a mistake by marrying her um he's got to make that mistake on his own she can say all day i think you're making a mistake but if he feels strongly about this and if he really love her as much as she thinks he does 
um, he's going to make that mistake. He's going to go, go all the way in on it. And it's just going to have to happen. Okay. So I'm going to need mama to mind her own doggone business. Period. Okay. Now, as for him, your, your fiance has expressed to you on countless, according to what she said, she's expressed to you that she does not like the way your mom treats her. Now, one of two things could happen. You can stop taking her around your mama or you can let your mama know that if she don't stop bullying her, then she won't see you. And I guarantee you that your mom wants to see you. So she'll kind of cut back on all of that other stuff. Hopefully. If she don't, then you're going to have to show her that fat meat is greasy. And then you're going to have to disappear for a little while. Sometimes you got some people you can threaten. Some you actually have to show. You got to prove to them that you're not playing with them. And they need that. And your mom may just need that. Now, for the part where she said she comes to her house, criticize the way she, you know, her house, um, uh, told her her wedding plans were whack. First of all, let's start with the house. You're not about to, now when I come to your house and you being disrespectful, that's cool because I can always leave. But you're not about to come to my house and disrespect me in my house okay mother-in-law about to get put out she gonna get put out we have to demand our respect people and it's not we don't have to demand our respect by being disrespectful but you have to demand your respect by letting people know okay this is what i worked hard for this is my house i worked hard i paid the bills you don't come here disrespecting me criticizing my things now as far as her telling her all her wedding plans was whack let me tell you something your mother-in-law whack for telling you that because she know that just about every young girl's dream day is her wedding day okay so you really go sit up here and try to ruin this girl's wedding day by set, making her second guess all of her plans. She's probably been thinking this over. She's probably been had her color scheme since she was like 12. You know, these things happen. You really telling me as a woman that you are going to ruin this girl's wedding and her wedding plans and make her second guess herself and for real? And dude gonna let you? You gotta go. Okay. Mother-in-law has to go. And I'm not talking about out of the picture, but out of my house. Like, you don't get to come over my house. And then he says, she said she teams up with his sister. It sounds to me like the sister and the fiance both, brother and sister, are afraid of their mother they just doing whatever she do they just going with whatever she do so it's up to you miss kimberly to demand your respect you probably gonna have to walk away from him his family everything for them to see the value in who you are and if you've been good to him as he say you have and you say he cries at the thought of losing you he gonna have to lose you boo you gonna have to go ahead and walk away and if he loves you he will fight for you but don't stick around and let put people bully you now one thing i don't like is a bully but what i like even what i dislike even more than a bully is a person who just continues to allow it you can always stop a bully you can i don't care what nobody say you can always stop a bully because there's something in you that that bully doesn't like and there's something about that bully that they don't like about themselves. It's something about you that they want. Something about you that who they want to be. It's something about you that they admire, but they don't want to admit it. You are a threat. Walk away and see what happens. And here's the thing. Don't be afraid of the outcome. Because when you know your worth, when you know your worth, that outcome 
is probably the best thing for you. So if him and his mama and his sister ride off on a white horse and live happily ever after together, then that was the best thing that it could probably could have ever happened for you. We spend our time holding on to the wrong person. And this is for male or female. Spend our time holding on to the wrong person and the right person cannot get in. They ain't got a chance. Because the wrong person always occupying space that ain't even theirs. Now it's up to us to make the decisions about what's best for our life. And not just holding on to people who really don't care nothing about us for real. Now, I don't know what you're doing to make him so in love. Okay. But obviously it's not enough for him. And if you're not enough for him, don't question yourself. Because you should be. Because if he claims he loves you so much, he would definitely do what it takes to keep you. And it's not without reason. That's not beyond reason. You're just asking him to be on your side. You're just asking him to, to have your back. And that ain't asking too much. That's well within reason because you are a couple. He proposed to you. He wants to marry you. So it's his job to have your back. It's my job to have Kevin's back. It's Kevin's back. It's Kevin's job to have my back. And when we don't have each other's back, uh, I might not be able to trust you. What you're not going to do is sit up here and just let your family drag me and then you sit with them and laugh about it. No. See, because I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna chuck the deuces to all of y'all because I know my worth. I know who I am. And Kimberly, you got to know who you are. Let me make sure I'm not missing nothing. So I'm just going to kind of scan through this email one more time. My fiance, okay, he says that I am his dream. Oh, baby. If you are his dream, then he's got to protect the dream. He's got to make the dream come alive. And right now he's not doing it. His mama's in the way, okay? She's in the way. Okay, she was very nice to you. She was very nice. His mom has been very nice up until we got engaged. Let me tell you something. She ain't never liked you. She ain't never liked you. The thing is, she was nice to you because she never expected you to last. She never expected him to propose to you. She just didn't expect it because nine times out of ten, her son has been dating a lot of women. She's seen them come and she's seen them go. And she thought that you was one that was just going to come and go. But to her surprise, you stuck. And she didn't want you to stick, okay? She never liked you. She didn't just stop liking you once he proposed. Absolutely not. She ain't never liked you. She was just entertaining you while you were there because she thought your time was coming to an end. Yeah. Mom in law ain't never liked you. Okay, let's see what else before we go. Because this ain't long. This ain't no long video. Because it ain't, you know, it's, it's just not long. Okay. So she calls your names, embarrass you in front of other family and friends. She don't want the family to like you either. But let me tell you what she's doing. Because if her family is smart, they see her looking more stupid than you. Especially if you don't respond, okay? Um, people are not blind. People are not dumb or stupid when it comes to their family members. She's probably one that acts out in the family all the time, you know, and now it's really showing that ugliness has come out. If she's embarrassing you in front of other people, family members, and friends, she's embarrassing herself. What I would say to you is if you're going to sit in those type of settings where she's talking about you, I would say don't even respond or give it any type of feature. Don't feature her at all. What I would do, if me and my man are together and his mom don't know how to act, if you choose to go into those type of settings, 
baby sit there and look as pretty as you can because guess what her son is leaving whatever family event y'all at he's leaving with you and she's still gonna be mad when you leave she gonna be mad before you get there and she gonna be mad when you leave why because you're leaving with her son I never understood mothers like that who can't let their sons go. I got one brother. I ain't never seen my mama be so disrespectful to any of his friends, girlfriends, whoever he was serious about. Um, one thing about my mom, she's always wanted us to be in healthy relationships. As long as he treating the girl right, my mama is okay with him. Because she's a woman and she understands. I never understood mothers who allow their sons to disrespect women. I never understood mothers who allow their sons to just, you know, bring one girl home after the, after another. It's just like a revolving door. I never understood that. Because we're supposed to be teaching our, our sons to treat the ladies right. How are you treating the ladies right when you got a revolving door? I never understood mothers like that. Is something wrong with them because they're women too. And they definitely wouldn't want anybody to treat them or their daughters the way you let your son treat women. So final thoughts, mama needs to chill. Fiance needs to chill. And, and, and Kim, you need to walk out. You need to take a break. You need to sit him down. I don't know what his name is because you didn't give me his name, but you need to sit him down and let him know y'all taking a break. Wedding postponed. Wedding off. Whatever. Either it's off, it's postponed. Whatever. Y'all taking a break. Until he can figure out what he really wants. And he ain't got no whole lot of time. Because if you are as good of a woman as he thinks you are, somebody else is going to show you a good time. Somebody else is going to know how to treat you. Because it's, it's still men out here who know how to treat women. And treat them well. And then when you get a taste of somebody treating you well, treating you right, loving you the way you're supposed to be loved, then him and his mama going to be by themselves still. Take a break, Kim. Now, I want all of my supporters to drop down in the comments and give your take on this situation. What do you think should happen? If you are an overbearing mother, please tell us why. Tell us why in the comments. I'm going to be in the comments with you guys. And I'm definitely going to be responding because this is something that I really want to understand. If you are that mama, please tell us why. If you are that dude, please tell us why it's so important for you to let your mom disrespect the person you choose to be with for the rest of your life. And if you are that, if you are Kimberly, <laughs> if you are her, tell me why you stay. They don't have any children because his mama says she hope, she hope they don't have no kids because she don't see the marriage lasting. So they don't have no kids. So you're not tied to him at all. So you can definitely leave. And I am not the person to ever tell a person to leave their marriage, but you're not married yet. So you have an out. You have a way out. If you're married, I'm going to do everything in my power to help you make it right. But you're not married. So take a break, baby. Get out now while you can. All right. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you won't ever miss a video. If you are watching me on Facebook, please, please, please share this video with everybody. Okay? Sharing is caring. Everybody. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye. Okay, no. I had to come back. Had to come back. Had to come back. Had to come back. Okay. <laughs> I need to make an announcement, guys. We are taking Married Life Monday to a totally different level. Okay? We are going to actually turn it into a real talk show where we are interviewing guests. So we will have couples on here 
of fun and exciting and entertaining couples who have a story to tell and can help us out with these viewer topics. Now, I am still taking viewer topics, so if you want to continue to email, please do because we will be reading viewer topics on the show pretty much every show, okay? So send your viewer topics because everybody won't be able to make it onto the show. Now, if you want to participate and you wanna be a guest on the show, please send me an email, um, send our team an email to themarriagebed at gmail.com. Again, the marriage bed at, G the, no, not the marriage bed, the bed of marriage, I'm sorry. <laughs> the bed, I'm gonna put it on the, on the screen, y'all. Um, the bed of marriage at gmail.com. Okay. And go ahead and send us your story. Let us know that you want to be a part of our show and we will definitely get back with you as soon as possible. We are definitely excited about taking this show to another level. Um, so y'all be patient with us because we're going to be doing what we need to do to try to make it work for you guys. Don't forget to share with everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss it. All right? All right, bye, guys. Monday,